Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you're with me in today's video. I'm gonna be talking all about my nine month Trenoin progress. I cannot believe the time has come. I have been on this medication for almost a year and I'm so excited to kind of share about my journey because I'm not kidding when I say Tretinoin literally changed my life and I'm gonna be sharing everything I know about the medication just because I feel like I watch so many of these videos whenever I was deciding to go on Tretinoin. So yeah, that's what this video is gonna be. Make sure you like this video if you enjoy this type of content and subscribe if you like my channel, I hope you do, and it really supports me. I post every single Wednesday, so make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell so you never miss out on a video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video, let's go. I cannot start this video without a little bit of a disclaimer, and I just wanna say that everybody is different. Nobody is gonna have the exact same results. I'm just sharing this information in hopes to inspire and educate somebody this is just what has worked for me and my struggles over the years so please take that with a grain of salt take what you will out of it because this medication is honestly not for everybody but it does provide some great results if it is for you so i'm going to be sharing more about that so yeah just that's just a reminder that i have to share so let's get into my background a little bit so Years ago, I had been struggling with severe cystic acne. Honestly, it hasn't really, it's honestly been my whole entire life, not just a few years ago, but I really, really wanted kind of that holistic, non-hormonal change. I had been on birth control for years and obviously that regulated it really well, but honestly, like I wanted something more natural. I didn't want to have to rely on being on birth control my whole life for me like not to have acne, like do you know what I mean? So, I was looking for more of a change that I can um not have to like remember to take a medication. I'm not big on medications anyways. So this was kind of like the perfect medium. So I had done tons of research on YouTube and on TikTok about tretinoin. So yeah, that's just a little bit of a background. And I found that tretinoin was honestly my best option and my best bet for like my like desired results. And I had just been like coming upon my wedding so i got married this past month in september of 2022 but a year ago i was like super super worried because i had been struggling with like super super bad breakouts and i didn't want those breakouts on my wedding day so i was like really trying to figure out a solution i had one year until the biggest day of my life so i wanted some type of solution and that's when i came across tretinoin but i will insert of course a few pictures of my before and then pictures of my results when we get there but i do want to talk a little bit more about the medication if you are looking to get on this and if you are looking to maybe get on it you know whatever whatever that looks like for you so let's talk about it so if you're not already familiar tretinoin it's this little tube this topical cream it is prescribed by a dermatologist you cannot like go to walgreens and pick this up you cannot order it it has to be prescribed so yeah that's just something to know because this is this little tube you might not know it but it is very intense but tretinoin is used to treat acne dark spots anti-aging any sun damage and it's a retin-a product it's a retinol so that means it is very intense and it's gonna do the trick so there's a lot of things to know about tretinoin but i am on the 0.05 percent a lot of people are on the 0 0.025 percent i think that's what it is so yeah you probably won't go over like one percent no 0.1 percent i guess yeah that's how it is i don't know whatever but this is what i'm on for reference so yeah i really like it it has worked for me so i'm gonna tell you about the process so First things first, you are going to have a purging phase and if you have researched tretinoin, you probably know or like heard about this that there will be a purge. Your skin is not going to be used to this medication initially. For instance, my purge lasted two to three months, which I know that seems like such a long time, but remember, I was going for the long term here. I wanted my skin to be good in a year and I know acne is not like an overnight result thing. And if you are struggling with acne and cystic acne, you know how self-conscious and how like your self-esteem goes way down. It's embarrassing. 
you just struggle with so many issues and I feel for you. I know I was in your position once too, but I do want to make known that a lot of people do tend to stop the topical cream after just a few weeks because they do see that purge but honestly you guys that is a tretinoin working it has to bring up that like under layer of that just grossness and that acne in order for it to like show your glow through your skin so that's one thing to note please do not stop with that topical cream if you are just in the purge process still really wait it out and i know this is something i really really struggled with because obviously you're going on a medication and you're like mm, why is my skin getting worse than like what it was before i went on it so that's something to know so please please do not get off of it that is going to happen like i said it's a very very strong product but with time it will work my number one goal was to get a better skin texture i really haven't had like super good skin texture and with the wedding i just really wanted flawless beautiful skin especially like to just feel confident in myself that was like a major thing for me so my desired result was the glass skin that people talk about after using tretinoin for a few months you will get there i promise so just wait it out if you are in that like terrible purging process so if you are just starting out make sure you only use a pea sized amount every single time you use it i know it sounds weird but a little goes a long way since it is such an intense product and in the beginning i was only using it one to two times a week do not use it every single night do not use it more than that because it's going to be a shock to the system at first in your skin so make sure you go with less is more in this case because it really is the goal really of tretinoin is that it is going to dry out your skin it's going to take up that gross layer to make sure that new layer of skin just like shines through so you are going to be like peeling you're going to be flaking and your skin's going to be dry and oily at the same time it is such a weird combination but you just have to like see it through so now i feel like i use my tretinoin probably like four to five times a week i can definitely use it a lot more because my skin is used to it now so yeah after a while your skin will get used to it and once that happens you could like use it like more often especially in the process of like when you're just knee deep in that process but you guys, I am not kidding when I say my skin is the best it has ever been. And I'm not kidding. I have been on Accutane twice. And they say that Accutane is like the craziest, most intense, the top of the line product or thing to do when you have acne. But you guys, I have been on it twice and nothing has worked for me like Tretinoin has. So I will be using it to the day I die. So let's go ahead and go over what my skincare routine looks like on a daily basis. And if you struggle with acne, you have to remember that less is more. And it took me years upon years to learn this. So right now, whenever I am doing my nighttime skincare routine, only use tretinoin at night. Do not use it during the day because it is really sensitive to the sun. So you don't want to be using it during the day. And little side note make sure you are using sunscreen a ton when you're on tretinoin because like i said it's really tretinoin is really sensitive to light so make sure you do that load up on the sunscreen make sure you wear hats when you're outside just to be like extra safe no one had told me that and yeah i had to like figure that out through videos which is crazy to me but anyway so the first thing i do at night is nowadays i only wash my i don't even wash my face with a cleanser i literally use a bar of soap Yes, uh, like a traditional bar of soap, super basic, super simple. There's no like added ingredients. And I will say, please, 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 like don't fall for like all of the like crazy new skincare that say that it's gonna clear your acne or like use this product, use this ingredient, and it's like the newest top of the line thing. Don't, like less is more, do the bare minimum, especially when you are treating acne. So after that, I honestly go in with my moisturizer. I use Cetaphil and then after like 30 minutes waiting for that to soak in, I use my tretinoin. Like I said, I only do my tretinoin a few times a week. So a lot of times I just use my bar of soap and my moisturizer and that is it. And it's crazy because my face, like I said, is literally the best it's ever been. And I cannot believe that because I have spent so much freaking money on skincare to only realize that the less I use is the best. 
So yeah, like I said, I do want to reiterate this. Make sure you are using SPF and sunscreen when you are in the sun, especially if it is summer and it is hot out where you are. Use sunscreen even if you are not planning to go out in the sun or anything because I'm not kidding, it is going to protect your skin. And that's to say like for everybody, not just if you're on tretinoin, always be using sunscreen because that's going to help in the aging process. But I think that is going to conclude today's video. Make sure you leave me a comment if you have any questions and give this video a like if you enjoy it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe because I post every single Wednesday and I will see you guys next time. Bye.